Pop Up Family's Advent Calendar. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to another episode of Papa Flemish Advent Calendar. And today, an extremely chill problem. Figure the hell out what n is, element of the natural numbers. It's not hard, it's very chill, but for 24 videos, you have to have something chill and short in here too, at some point in time. Try it out for yourself and let me know what the solution is down there in the comments. But before we get started, don't forget to use code 7 hell to get 15% of everything over on my spring shop and 10% of everything over on stemmerch.com. Definitely make sure to check it out, use it and support the channel this way. And now we are going to dive right in. Now this right here is just a simple system of equations. And as I mentioned before, it's not hard, but it's fun to do. And a little reminder on how to solve inhomogeneous um, systems of equations. Now, the easiest thing we could quite possibly do is eliminate n for now by adding both equations together or subtracting one from the other. We are eliminating n that way, the thing we are searching for, but contrary to that, we are going to get values for a and b out, hopefully. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to subtract the second equation from the first one, resulting in n minus n being 0. 20 plus 21 is 41. 21 is equal to a squared minus b squared. And subtracting here actually does work wonders because you might notice something. a squared minus b squared is just the difference of two squares, resulting in a plus b times a minus b. Now, let us read out what is standing here on the blackboard. 41 is equal to the multiplication of two numbers. Now, there's one approach to go about something like this. Namely, if you consider 41 to be a natural number, then you might also notice that this right here is a prime number, meaning 41 is the same as 1 times 41. And considering that a and b are also natural numbers, we have that either a plus b is equal to 1 and a minus b is equal to 41 or the other way around. a plus b is equal to 41 and a minus b is equal to 1. Those are our two cases which we are going to inspect a tiny little bit, resulting in um, two results for now, namely that um, a plus b is equal to 1 and a minus b is equal to 41 or a plus b is equal to 41 and a minus b is equal to 1. And now we are going to go through this logical chain one after another with both systems being solved and then we are going to see what our resulting n out of the natural numbers can quite possibly be. Now there are several ways to go about this. You could solve for a for example and substitute it into here. You could also add those two equations together and for, for example eliminate b. I'm going to go this route then adding those two equations together b is going to be eliminated. We are going to have 2 times a is equal to 1 plus 41 is 42 the answer to life and the universe and everything else. Now dividing both sides by 2 results in a being equal to 21 and if we substitute it into here for example then we are going to get 21 plus b is equal to 1 meaning um, b must be equal to negative 20. You are going to get the same result here and b is equal to negative 20. So those are our um, two solutions for the first case. Now what about the second case here? a plus b is equal to 41 and a minus b is equal to 1. Let us add both equations together once again, resulting in 2 times a being equal to 42. That also means that a is equal to 21. And now what we get, um, a being equal to 21, plus b must be equal to 41. For example, we get that b must be equal to 20. So doesn't matter which case we get, we are going to get overall that a must be 21 in each and every case and b must be equal to plus and minus 20, which does make sense because we are having a quadratic here in some kind of way. And for quadratics, the plus and minus is going to cancel out respectively in the process. And with that out of the way, we can just plug those two values into either of these equations and then we are done. Now, if you plug, for example, the value of a into here, we are going to get that n plus 20 
is equal to 21 squared. Now, 21 squared, what is it? Let me think about that for a second, 21 squared. So uh, 21 times 20 is going to give us 420. 420 plus 21 is going to give us 441. Meaning if we subtract 20 on both sides, we are going to get um, that n is equal to 421. Or if you want it in a nicer form, you get 420 plus 1. Let us also check with the other one. If we plug b being equal to plus minus 20 into here, as mentioned before, the plus minus is going to get cancelled out. Under applying the square, we are going to get that n minus 21 is equal to 20 squared. 20 squared is the same as 400. And if we add 21 on both sides, we are going to get that n is equal to 421. And hence, we are done. I like that answer better here, obviously, because of the 420. But this is all there really is to it. I think I forgot to mention at first that a and b must be element of the positive and negative integers. Um, but there was probably an annotation for that too here. It was a Diophantine system of equations. Yeah. Um, but I hope you did figure it out on your own too. And I hope you did enjoy what you have seen today. And if you did, stay tuned for more advent calendar videos. Tomorrow's video is going to be out on the... NP cooking NPC channel. So stay tuned for that. A community post is coming too. And don't forget to support the channel by buying yourself some geek merch. I get a lot of sponsorship offers daily and I'm refusing to take them at the moment because um, let's just enjoy Christmas together. But I won't disappoint Brilliant at least that. So yeah, um, then definitely make sure to support the channel if you also want to support Papa Flemmy and the Advent Calendar and Tyler a little bit. And until next video, I wish you guys a flammable day. See ya.